Houston's home for news. We here at Channel 2 know a little something about celebrity dogs. Our beloved Radar was a big part of our KPRC family for more than a decade. Well, our sister station in San Antonio has a special canine connection of its own. KSAT adopted Gino as a puppy, and they chronicled his training to become a guide dog. Now that training is complete, and as Chip Brewster shows us, Gino has been placed with a companion right here in Houston. Lisa Batiste lost her vision 14 years ago, but thanks to the guide dogs of Texas, she's still able to see through her new companion, Gino. Did a good job. I can see things that move, okay. but I couldn't tell you what color it was or if it's a person unless they spoke and I was familiar with the voice. I wouldn't be able to tell you who they are. However, that doesn't mean her life is limited. We fly, we take the train, we take the bus, the independence alone is amazing. And it's all because of the training Gino has received over the last two years. So Gino's training actually started at birth. He's taught to be comfortable with city sounds and use his eyes over his nose. Then at eight weeks, he heads to a puppy trainer. Hey. So after that, they go um, back to Guide Dogs of Texas to go through um, the final training for six months. Finally, the dog is matched with its new owner, but the learning never stops. Because it's not just the dog working by itself and the person working by themselves, it's how they work together. Because without them, I mean, what situation, me personally, I would be in, I don't know. It takes roughly $50,000 to fully train a Gino, and if you believe in the mission of Guide Dogs of Texas, they will happily accept your help on this Giving Tuesday. In Houston, Chip Brewster, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Nice story, Chip, thanks.